It's January 3rd, 2021. You stumble out of bed as your six o'clock alarm screams from across the room. Maybe, maybe you can just skip work today. Call in sick, spend the rest of the day ignoring the world's problems from the comfort of your own bed. No, you think, I can't do that. A few days ago, you made a promise to run every morning before work. The first New Year's resolution that you're actually going to stick with and time's running short. 10 minutes and a cup of liquid anxiety later, and you're off. Something between the caffeine and adrenaline rushing through your veins makes you feel more alive than you have in years. You pop some bread in the toaster, sit back, and read the news. After breakfast, for what seems like the millionth time, you're stuck in morning traffic. Finally, you arrive at work and assume position at your all-too-familiar cubicle. Each minute turns into an eon, but alas, it's finally time to leave. You sit in traffic, throw your bag on the couch, make dinner, watch TV, and finally decide it's getting late and you should go to your bed. As you lie in the darkness, you think, what's the meaning of all this? This thing called life. You toss and turn for a few more minutes, then finally fall asleep. It's January 4th. You make some summer night, run, you make some coffee, eat breakfast, run, sit in traffic, get in September, September on the way to work, watch TV, TV finally go to sleep, run, work, eat breakfast, go to the night, sit in traffic, sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go sit in traffic, go to sleep. It's January 3rd. 2071. An all too familiar pain jolts through your arthritis ridden knees. You think, as you stumble across the room, I don't know how much longer these things are going to last me. You down your 20,532 second cup of coffee. As you sit alone at the kitchen table, you think back to when you were in your 20s and how naive you were to think that you could run every day for a year. Nobody has time for that, especially not now when a trip to Mars costs $5,000. Blasphemy, you think. Ever since the U.S. took control of interplanetary tourism, prices have skyrocketed. If you kept running in your 20s instead of working, you'd barely be able to afford a trip to the moon. You strap on your virtual reality suit and explore the final parts of the ocean to be documented. This meant we now had every square inch of the Earth documented. A true feat of human ingenuity, if you say so yourself. The rest of the day crawls by. Ever since retirement, the days all blend together now. The night finally comes, and you find yourself in bed thinking. What's the meaning of all this? This thing called life. The same question you asked yourself exactly 50 years earlier. You toss and turn for a few minutes before falling asleep. In 50 years, you haven't come even a step closer to figuring out why you're here. Why you stockpiled a bunch of money, bought a nice house, on socks, watched the news every thousand can for 10 straight years, worked so long, watched the total of five times, and five hours. In 50 years, you're not even sure if you've done anything meaningful. It's January 3rd. 2084. It's Dr. Fitzgerald. He makes you aware that the cancer they detected in your lungs is untreatable and getting rapidly worse. You probably only have a few days to live, if that. In fact, you'd already be dead if it weren't for the ventilator four feet to your left, breathing for you. So here you lie, on your deathbed, just counting down the days. Your friends and family all try to cheer you up by telling you that everything is going to be okay. And their blind optimism they tell you that by some shred of a chance, the doctors will find a way to save you. Some experimental treatment, anything. But everyone knows that your end is inevitable and getting closer every second. In the back of your mind, nagging away is that infamous thought. What's the meaning to all this, this thing called life? But you're not any closer to an answer than you were in your 20s. You think of all the happy moments, the sad ones, and everything else in between. All the things you wish you could go back and change. That's when it hits you. Maybe there is no meaning. Maybe we were just creatures that by some bizarre chance became conscious. Maybe the whole point of living is just to be alive. To just enjoy living. Moments before eternal nothingness, you think about how many more happy moments you've had than sad and realize that unknowingly, you fulfilled your purpose and are satisfied even though you never figured out the meaning of it all. Even if it is all meaningless, did it ever really matter?